What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. I am so stoked to finally have a tractor out at the ranch. Oh, I've been like a kid all day yesterday when this thing showed up. Um, this morning, I keep like looking out the window, you know, seeing if it's still here and, and that this is still real. We're gonna get our first cold start video though because it's like 55 degrees, which is cold for us, not for you guys. Now today we're gonna be putting the old coyote to work. I can't say all of that. We're gonna be putting the new coyote to work and seeing what she's actually capable of. But first, before we do that, we're gonna head over to our neighbor James's house. James is like the tractor king of the neighborhood, right? He's had pretty much all of the equipment you could ever dream of. Uh, I wanna get his opinion on this thing. He's out working on his field right now. So let's head over to James's. Let's fire this thing up first though. <laughs> Alrighty. So I spent a little bit of time in this thing yesterday. Um, today I really want to spend some time in there, see what she can handle, see what she's all about, make sure obviously there's no issues with her. I mean, so far everything's been great. I don't foresee any issues popping up. One thing I gotta say is awesome on this tractor is this push button shifter. So again, you don't have to use the clutch down there. All you have to do is push this button, it clutches for you. Shift it into what gear you want, and then you continue on. Super awesome. We are pulling up to James's now. Looks like he's out working his field. If you guys are not following James, follow Get Muddy on YouTube. He's about to be doing some really cool stuff over at his ranch. Uh, and he was just standing up on his tractor. I feel like he knows I can't stand up in this one because it shuts off when you get off the seat. They've come a long way since then. <laughs> what you think, James? I feel like we got to get your approval on anything tractor related. Well, I think it's definitely nicer than mine. Oh, Whoa! Got stuck, got stuck. <laughs> Dude, this thing's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Me too. <laughs> I'm kind of glad it is, though. Yeah. I feel like it's the right size. You probably have to slide the seat back. It does slide the... Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Golden. So you guys don't know, James is like nine feet tall. <laughs> what you think? That's a, like, easy clutch. And you don't even really... It's got a hand clutch on the shifter or a little button push button on the shifter so you really only need a clutch start and stop never driven a farm tractor this nice <laughs> all right look we're already we're doing some studying here we're trying to figure out exactly how this whole rear setup works watch your toes so it's got a lever in the back so you can adjust your three-point hitch setup for when you are trying to hook up to an implement uh, one of the hardest things about these old farm tractors, or old, new, whatever, about these farm tractors is hooking stuff up. It's not like skid steers where you just clamp in and you're good to go. You have to back up to your thing, and then, you know, usually your implements are some big heavy piece of machinery, and God forbid you're like an inch off and you gotta skitch back just an inch, and sometimes the height's a little bit out of whack, so you gotta line up three points of attachment. So having that lever in the back is nice because you can raise and lower things, but we're comparing it now. <laughs> Into my dinosaur. <laughs> to that thing. Uh, James is trying to figure out why everything is kind of how it is and he brought up a good point We might actually have to remove all of these hydraulics if we hook up like a mower or something to the back of this Which is I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to I'm pretty sure these have to come off They don't look that hard. They're just quick release pins though. Yeah, I don't understand why there's a cylinder and this gear drive deal So let's just show them yours again real quick. So, okay. so you guys can see basically look at this housing right here Look where this pivots, these, these two upper link arms. Look where they pivot right there. But we have hydraulic cylinders on this tractor doing it. Whereas on... Uh, <laughs> even it'll even start, sometimes it gets a little. Uh-oh. Right, so you can see we got the same mechanism, similar looking thing here on these upper links, but no hydraulics. And something makes this go up and down. We're assuming some type of gears in there. Yeah, so you can see that they rotate up. So I don't know why, because yours looks almost identical on the inside right here. The housing looks the same almost. Right. So I don't know why you need hydraulic cylinders to push it up and have that. Because yours has the two levers. James is taking his John Deere. We're going to go find, he's got an old brush cutter for the John Deere. We're going to go see if we can like try to hook it up to this thing and see exactly what we're looking at uh, in terms of if those hydraulic cylinders ever have to come off or not. We're not sure. This is all very new to us. Oh. James just took it for a test drive. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. This is bad. You want to drive old Bessie over there? A death trap? <laughs> I mean, yeah. All right. What's funny is we had Papa Rano over here one day. Uh, and, you know, we we're at the, coming to borrow James's zero turn. And he saw this with the mower hooked up on the back. And he's like, well, I'll just use that. And James started explaining it to him. And he's like, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I'm good. I'll sit on the zero turn. This thing looks like it, it boogies. You were hauling butt in this it, thing. It moves pretty quick. 
I feel like this is about as big of a tractor as you can like do with the open cab without being like super sketchy because they make these open cab. And I feel like you, you're getting a little big at that point to be an open cab. I think so. All right, give me a, let me get on this side. Give me, give me a walk through of this. Yours has all the buttons, but basically this is the, that's like low range. Okay. This is, well, if you push the clutch in and it's right, sometimes it grinds, but. Oh, I lied. That's reverse. Okay. So you have four gears in reverse. This is basically one through four. Okay. And then when you put it into high range, this is five through eight. Gotcha. So typically I'll put it in, like if I'm actually working, just low range and then three to four. The clutch is kind of funny. It's over on this side. It'll do nothing, 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 nothing. And then it's like, burp. <laughs> this adjusts these guys right here. Okay. That what we're trying to figure out on your tractor with the cylinders and then this um adjust the height of the disc gotcha it's not running right now okay then this is your throttle this is your cutting brakes is the is the concrete uh standard well this was in the field up <laughs> okay oh so you use both brakes at the same time or is there just like if you yeah. if you need to stop i feel like I, I should know that on this death trap honestly i hardly ever use the brakes okay if i go to stop i just like let the throttle off put it in neutral and put whatever attachment I have on the back. Drop it. Drop it, because it doesn't have a parking brake. Gotcha. Like, and the steering on this thing, uh -oh. I, I'm not kidding, you'll see these like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. There's a whole lot of no engagement there. Oh, oh, oh you get it after a yeah. half a turn. Yeah, it's a good time driving this thing. All right, all right. Uh, just clutch and start it, right? Yeah. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. <laughs> No, oh, oh. Uh, we spoke too soon. There you go. Left and back. So back, that's high range. Okay. Low range is right here. Let's just play in low range for now, you know? I guess it does have a parking brake. Huh. I've never used it though. <laughs> uh, what should I take off in? Two? Third? It's pretty slow. If you put it in one, you'll be like, this is really slow. Alright, so take off at third? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, so this one, you'll see it like... Oh, so, uh -oh. The hydraulics on this thing do not work if the clutch is in. Okay. So, you gotta have... Alright. That's interesting. Maybe. Uh -oh. it takes a little bit to wake up. There you go. All right. Now you're good. Sweet. Let me open my back window. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it would hook up without. I think it will. You have the, the little, we just need the, you know, it's a triangle. There's a triangle. <laughs> uh, that's probably a good, good call there. Well, the only thing we got is make sure is that it mates up to your output shaft. Uh-oh, guys, we got us a big old snake skin right here. Might be another snake out here that needs to learn how to use a shovel. Unless it's a good one. We keep the good ones. This might drop. Yeah. So you want to hold it up? Let's see what it does on its first shot. We do all four of these <laughs> things at the same time. I really miss my head mount. All right. Not too bad. All right. First time disconnecting. Oh, if this works, I'm going to be so excited. I'm mowing the field today if this works. It's perfect weather. It's not hot, not sunny, not dry. I don't see what's wrong if it has a little slack in it. Oh, I know. Focus more on doing this and that let's uh let's try and do this top one. 
first. Okay. I don't have a pin for that. Uh oh. Those big man hands. Yeah, I don't know if that one's gonna happen. <laughs> Some thick steel to bend. Oh, it's moving. That's impressive. See, so guys, that's why James drives the man tractor, and I'm in the, you know, this one. This is looking promising. Forward a tiny bit. Go up. So you guys, this is the one downside to farm tractors. This, we're gonna switch that out though. They make these quick hitches that bolt on. You can basically pick up most quick hitch compatible stuff. Obviously, the 1912 John Deere uh, mower is not quick hitch compatible, but anything new, most new implements that come out are. Okay, go ahead and uh, keep coming back. A little more. <laughs> all right she's all hooked up so the thing is it's sitting so high right now you're only going to catch your weeds about that so it's going to have to drop down and then this bar might hit your hit bar watch your leg let's see what happens when we drop it down go slow I don't even know how. Let's see. Never used the PTO on this thing. I'm gonna zoom in. All right, clutch in, pull this lever. We got two types, economy and regular. Uh, nobody wants economy. Yeah, all right. Well, when we were over at James's, the battery ended up dying. However, we successfully got everything hooked up. We threw some oil in this old mower, and I gotta say, you can see around me, we are successfully mowing. Now, obviously this is a very narrow mower. The tractor itself is wider. So it's not like you can just do passes like you would a lawnmower where you basically follow the edge of where you cut last time. Um, however, it's actually working out perfect where I line up the tip of that fork with the edge of my cut and it seems like through that we are getting perfect passes and not leaving a little strip that is unmowed. Guys, I am so stoked right now that that thing works. I mean, I am so comfortably mowing right now. I don't got stuff in my face, especially with all this mustard weed, like no allergies. I can turn the radio on, the air conditioning. I just set my engine RPMs right here. The tractor's doing most of the work. All I'm doing is steering. This is this is what I dreamed of when I bought this property. This is it right here. Like this, let's just make life easy. You can see just how tall all of this stuff is. I mean, it's, it's up to the height of the back tires in some parts and this old cutter is going through it. It's probably not the cleanest cut on the mustard weed, but it's chopping it, which is at this point all I care about, because that stuff is relentless. You guys saw Papa Rhino mow this field on a zero turn. Uh, he spent two days mowing just the front section right here, and it grew back in like a, a week. This stuff is pretty wild, but I think we're hopefully coming up, on well, maybe not hopefully, but we should be coming up on the dry season here shortly. And then I don't think this stuff will grow back until uh, the next rainy season in fall or winter or whenever. Check out the turning radius on this tractor. All right, this is a decent sized tractor. We just make a little turn right here. Look at this turning radius. This is awesome. Super nimble for how big the tractor is.
feels like cheating now. All the struggles we've had maintaining this property, keeping up with this property. I mean, I'm lounging right now, mowing. How freaking awesome is that? You should install a recliner in this thing. And what's funny is I've actually, before this showed up in the past, I looked up auto steer systems, and I know I'm crazy. I don't have, you know, 500 acres of farmland. However, they make some pretty affordable auto steer systems where I can like program this front field and this thing will like turn for me. And then I'll have even less to do. Just sit here and keep an eye on things. But this is freaking awesome. I am so beyond happy with this tractor. And we've already mowed so much more than a zero turn or uh, you know any other method we've used in the past as mowed. Okay guys, I've been mowing for all, uh, let's see, about two and a half hours, I'd say, a little bit longer. And I've already done what Papa Rano would do in like two days on a zero turn. Um, and that's like two brutal days on a zero turn. I don't know how that man sat on that thing and mowed this field for so long. This is cheating, guys. Like mowing with something like this is freaking cheating. Like if anything, I'm getting like fatigued from just not having to do anything. <laughs> It's pretty wild. It's probably gonna be hard to see on camera because, well, everything is hard to, you know, tell dimensions and stuff, but right in this center section right here, there's like a creek bed that runs through. All the water from the property kind of drains this way. So what I'm doing is I'm mowing along it, and then I'll go back to going straight. But I need room right here to turn around because obviously I can't go through that with the mower on the back. And then I left some of this over here because it kind of looks cool as like, I don't know, it's like decorative. There's a lot of lavender plant mixed in there, a lot of purple. I don't know, maybe it's because I've never owned a farm tractor. <laughs> but like, th there's just nothing to it. I'm freaking kicking my legs up sideways now, you know? The cab is so big. This freaking giant window in front of you is so massive. Like, it's just, it's just so chill. You just cruise. Make little adjustments on the steering wheel. The steering's super easy. Like, it doesn't take much. Oh my god, where has this, where has this been my whole life? Well, my whole time living on the property. Well, as you guys can see, the sun has come out. I don't want to do too much brush cutting while it is like super sunny and starting to get hot and dry. So we'll wait till another gloomy morning to finish doing around the property. I gotta say, this old antique cutter here, this thing put in some work. I feel like with some sharp blades, it would be like ideal. I'm very impressed with it for an old antique like she is. Gotta give a huge thank you to James for letting me borrow this. Again, until I figure out what setup I'm gonna buy or what I'm gonna buy. It's nice to actually have something now to knock down the weeds because we're getting closer and closer to summertime. I know technically like the unofficial start of summer has happened, but you don't wanna be brush cutting when it's hot and super dry out. You hit a rock, it starts a fire, it's just no bueno. And this might be a really short video or a shorter video than my typical videos, but like how long do you guys wanna sit and like listen to me talk to myself in the cab of the tractor? Uh, it was pretty repetitive. We are at officially, I think like 11 hours on her now. So that is super awesome. We're breaking her in. So far, I am in love. This is so awesome to finally have this. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna be putting everything to the test. I know I said that was gonna happen in this video, but I didn't actually plan on, you know, borrowing James's brush cutter and actually mating up and everything working. Uh, I had to take advantage of it being a good time to mow. So that's what we did. So stay tuned for the next video when we, we got a bunch of stuff we gotta move around the property. We gotta try the grapple out. There's a lot of deferred maintenance that has been going on on the property. Oh, Jesus, fly in my face. Because I just haven't had the right equipment out here to do it, and now we do. So no more excuses. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, you get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.